Uh, I'm excited to be racing here for the first time uh, with my new triathlon team, Alameda On. Uh, I hope to represent them well tomorrow and have a successful race. So this is uh, my first race of the season. Uh, it is a little early for me. I normally like to start racing in March or even April. So I don't know how this will go, but like every first race of every season, um, it always hurts a little bit more than you'd like to because you're, you're hitting a zone of uh, effort that you don't actually reach during training. So for me right now, uh, I'm expecting to have a good race. I think my off-season training went really well. Uh, it's mostly base training. I've still got a lot of uh, intensity to come uh, after this race for my, my next bigger races. But uh, I feel like I'm in a really good place right now uh, for this race uh, being my first race of the season. Jet lag is always a problem whenever you fly uh, to a race abroad, um, normally anywhere from a, five, a four to five hour time change. So I think right now we have, I think a 12 hour time change. As long as I get a good night's sleep the night before, which is tonight, um, I should feel pretty good in the morning and uh, it's nothing a bit of coffee won't fix. The conditions tomorrow for the race are meant to be windy uh, and probably hot as normal here in Dubai. Uh, but I'm really familiar with those conditions. I race really well in those conditions. I have done in the past uh, and my competition all have the same conditions as well. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if it's windy or not. I feel like I'm back racing uh, with a bit of fire in my belly like I used to race when I raced ITU. I love uh, having a lot of competition so I think that's for me a lot more fun. If there was no competition I wouldn't be here racing to be honest. Well first timers here I mean there's a lot of things that you have to take into account being a first timer but I think getting your hydration and nutrition in order is probably one of the most important things to consider. It will be hot out there and uh, I think a lot of people underestimate taking salt as a uh, supplement during the race, uh, but I think that's one of the biggest things that can help you and stop you from cramping. So I would recommend taking uh, some salt uh, as a supplement on the bike and even on the run.